Rog, a point on the road. How does that one feel? It's good. Um, it's obviously not quite the performance we wanted, especially in the first half. I think the second half we came out and we were a lot better and we kind of set the standards that we want to set. Um, but it's good to get a point and take it back home with us. When the game starts as it did, going behind just, just five minutes in, and then still finding yourself under the cosh a little bit, how important was it from a Bristol City perspective that you, that you turned that around as quick as you could? Um, I think it's always hard. Like there's Sometimes you've got to ride, ride those waves in football, ride those moments where you're under pressure. Um, but I think the fact that we did ride it and we kind of came back into the game and managed in the second half to put a much better performance, I think it's a really good, it's a good show of character and it's something that we can definitely like build on and take into future games of us. You did grow into the game as the first half wore on and right on the stroke of that half-time whistle, the first Bristol City goal for yourself. Can yeah. you talk us through that one and the importance <laughs> of it? Um, I can't fully remember it, but I think it came from a, a good piece of pressure. I remember Abby um, doing something good on, with the ball in the box and it just landed to me and I just hit it first time and luckily it went in. Um, but I think it was, a again, it was just a great show of character for us to kind of get back in the game just before half-time. And we knew going in at half-time, we knew that we had to make some changes in terms of what we were doing and I think we put a better show for ourselves in the second half. How much of an impact do you think that goal had? It's, it's a great time to score. Yeah, I think... You always say like the first five minutes, first last five minutes of, of half, so they're big moments. Um, obviously, we conceded in the first five minutes and then to go and score in the last five minutes, I think it's a massive, massive impact. And it means you can kind of go in at half time, like you're level again and you just go and attack the second half. And you did just that, that didn't you? You came out of the, se out of the dressing room at half time with, with a bit more about you. Yeah, I think we made a few changes that we needed to make. Um, and I think as well, the, the subs that came on in the second half did a, did a great job and made such an impact. Um, so yeah, I think definitely good that we managed to improve throughout, throughout the game. But obviously, if we can start better next week, that would be uh, great. From a, a player's perspective, how important is it that when you're out there, the girls stepping off the bench to join you have as much of an impact as they did? Oh, it's massive. Like, it's massive. Obviously, there's the aspect of fresh legs, but also the tactical things that they bring. Um, yeah, I think it's massive and the, the impact they had today was so good um, and it made such a difference and obviously it helped us go and get that second goal. It was a great second goal as well, wasn't it? Good work from Naomi Lazel down the left and yeah. another goal for Am. Yeah, I think Nai, um, like the work she puts in and the physicality that she brings is honestly incredible to the team. So she did a great job there, obviously set Am up and what a finish by her as well. So it's nice to get that, get that point. And how nice is it to know when the defenders are putting in the work, like you said, you in the midfield constantly battling, you've got people up, up the right end of the pitch who, who can produce that moment when it's needed. Yeah, I think it's a real positive this season that we're, we're scoring goals and we know we can score goals. Um, so even if we do go behind in the game, we know we can come back into it. Obviously, it would be great to not go behind in the game, but it's great. And obviously, credit to the forwards for, for putting the goals away and everyone else, obviously. So plenty of positives to take into a big double game week next week as well. Yeah, um, a big week ahead. Uh, obviously, Spurs is going to be a tough one in the Conti Cup and then Man United at home um, in front of a big crowd next week. So, yeah, really looking forward to it.